What's up guys, Soccer 3 and welcome to my second video of the day. If you haven't watched the first one, that is Soccer News, please go and check that out as well after this one, that would be awesome. But um, this is the most influential players in the EPL, second episode, and this time it's Arsenal and Aaron Ramsey is the um, that person in it. So um, if you haven't watched the first episode, that is Ben Teke, please do, um, if you haven't, but um, I, I just realised that Arsenal's actually ahead of Aston Villa in the alphabet, so if you want me to do something in the alphabet, don't ask me, because I'm obviously retired in that place. So, um, as you can see, Ramsey is the um, most influential player for Arsenal right now for me, and um, it's just because this season he's popped up. Like, it, it, last season, if you asked me, Aaron Ramsey, how was he, I would say he's injury-prone, he's not an amazing player, and doesn't do a lot, and he's not very influential on the ball. But this season, he's skyrocketed, and he has, like, he's improved so much. Well, I, I think he was capable of this last season. He just didn't have the opportunity, and now that he's playing well, and he's fit, and he's in form, he's first team. He's, I reckon he's the first player on the team, and... He's also been scoring heaps and heaps of goals. He's the top goal scorer for Arsenal, the sixth top goal scorer in the league, um, in sixth on six goals, um, one goal above Giroud. Uh, he's behind Van Persie, Remy Suarez, Sturridge, and Aguero, and they are. That's totally fine to be behind them. They're all strikers. Ramsey is a midfielder. The next midfielder you've got is Toure with five goals, and they've basically all been free kicks. So, he's done an extreme effort this season, and also he's he's influenced so much on Arsenal being top of the table right now. Um, obviously, this morning they did lose against Manchester United, but that isn't such a bad thing for fans of Liverpool, Southampton, Chelsea, and basically everyone else, because that means... That would have basically been the first stretch above about five points that a team's like going because they would have been um, five points above Liverpool and everyone else about seven, eight points, and that's when it starts getting stretched out. So now it's kind of closed in a bit again and it's all up for grabs once again. But um, he's also done a great job in the Champions League being the, well he scored four goals in the Champions League and he is fifth equal top scorer with um, Messi on four goals and he, um, he's, he's just done so much and he's not lost the form like I thought. The first couple of games, you know, the first some easy clubs except for Aston Villa, which didn't do quite well that match. But um, like the whole team, just um, but the, he's continued the form throughout now. Even even after five matches, he's playing really well, kept on scoring. I sort of still thought he'll lose his form. Ozil was will take his spot. Will she will make the spot? Clearer and he's on the bench all the time, and someone like Flamini or Arteta is going in, and that so and Kazor and stuff. But he's he's uh, for me he's a better option than Kazor, and that's a big thing to say. But right now, Kazor is playing well, and a spot maybe slightly open up for him as Wilshire getting injured for a few weeks, but. For for me, Ramsey is the superior option, and it's showed not just by goal scoring and playing well. He's been getting assists, getting involved in the team. He's just been very involved in everything, and um, he's so influential really big part of the team right now, I've got to be honest, very big part of the team, and um, Jack Wilshere was on the bench and he replaced Fulmini in the 60th minute in the match against Manchester United, but 
Um, I think, to be honest, Ramsey's a better option than Wilshere right now. I don't think he's done too much, except for the Norwich match that he played really well. But Ramsey is really making a big difference to Arsenal right now. And I've got to be honest, if, if Ramsey wasn't in this form and wasn't playing this this good right now for Arsenal, they would not be in this position in first place. So that's what I've got to say. And I reckon he's the best player in the Premier League right now, maybe just ahead of Aguero and Suarez and stuff like that in Sturridge. But um, obviously, as I said in the episode before, the next match is against Southampton. It's a big match, first versus third. And they've had three big matches in a row. They've won one, lost one. Is it going to be a draw? What's going to happen? Put your thoughts in the comments below. And also, um, put down who you think should go for Cardiff City, which is the next team in order in this series. I don't know much about Cardiff City. I'll probably put someone in that I don't know much about. And, you know, but... So thanks for watching this video, guys. Um, I hope you like my choice. And uh, please like and subscribe if you like this video and you subscribe for more soccer stuff in this series and many other series. And, um, is that a word? Series? Um, go back and watch all my other videos. That would be awesome. And comment below, as I said before, on who should be next uh, for Cardiff and also how they will go against Southampton on the weekend. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.